Hey, it's coffee time. What are y'all up to? Welcome to Coffee Time with John and Mama. If you aren't following us, head on over to our Facebook page, Coffee Time with John and Mama. Like us, follow us, to do all that stuff. Y'all do so well. We're having a buffet tonight. If y'all ever have a leftover buffet, check it out. It ain't a meal. It's just a bunch of meals put together and we're going to eat. Um... <laughs> I told Mama, I said, we've done blessed it all, but we're going to double bless it. So let's bless our <laughs> supper. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity to partake of this meal. We, Lord, we just thank you for your grace and your love and your mercy. Dear Lord, we just pray for each and every prayer request that's out there, those spoken and unspoken. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, we got that vegetables. With, Mama, here, I'll go ahead. I'll eat that. I'll eat that. Go ahead. I'll dip that over. Uh-huh. We've got the pea salad left. I've done put a little bit on my plate. I got started and I was going to fill up the plates before we started. And I didn't. But uh, vegetables. You want some more vegetables? No. Ooh, I got one of them things. Mortar chestnuts. I don't like them things. So we're just having a little mixture here. All good stuff. All from a couple of different meals. And here's a piece of chicken, Mama, if you want to. I'll set that up. I, um, I like them. The morning with eggs is about the way I like them. And this good dressing that we had, that stove top, which it really wasn't stove top. It was store brand. Yeah. But it was good. Mama, I know you want some of it. Oh, wow, yeah. Wow, yeah, she said. Do you ever just have your leftovers and you think, I'm just going to eat what's there? We usually fare pretty good with it, don't we, Mama? Oh, yeah. So no cooking tonight. If you come on for, a, we gotta, we've got to clean this up. You can't waste food. And well, Lord, I've got dressing hand dry. I've dipped so much here. Oh, that's your hoggish. I'm hoggish. That's what they say about bread. Dad used to say, <laughs> "What's it mean if you got bread and you get bread?" Get bread? Mama said, "You're a pig." <laughs> no, it means something. Mama said, "Yeah, it means you're hogging that too much bread." He'd say, no, you know what I mean. Well, <laughs> yeah, he wasn't going to tell me that, did he? You know what I mean. <clears throat> there is a saying, something about company or something. If you if you have cornbread or biscuit in your plate and you reach and get more and you realize you didn't have it, does anybody know what that saying is? It's a funny, it's an old saying. Hi from your friends in Win oh, Winchester, Kentucky. Well, hey, Angie. How are you doing? But it blinked. That looks good. It does, don't it, for a made that mixed up meal on some fine china. Look at that. It ain't bad at all. Kind of reminds me of um, the day after Christmas when you're just eating leftovers and whatever's there. Eating what you like the best. Yeah, eating your favorites. A couple of deviled eggs and whatever's left. I'm telling you that pea salad we made the other night, that frozen pea salad. It's still good on the saltine. I ate a bite of it without a saltine and it. it was good. There's plenty I of don't it. Want no more. You don't want it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the gravy's good. The gravy's real good. Mm. Mom and I are learning how to make less. She did make less goulash. Now we still got that in there. And I took it for lunch today and there's still enough for a couple of servants. We're learning how to make less. And it's hard. Oh yes. You may think, boy, it can't be harder to make less. It's harder if you have to make more. But when you cook big amounts your whole life. It's hard to cook. It's meat. hard to, to know. You always feel like, well, that ain't enough for one. Uh-huh. Two. The veggies are good. Mm -hmm. I think this is a good little supper, <clears throat> Mama. It's better than letting it go to waste. <clears throat> we got a late start tonight anyway. <clears throat> Mama's coming with the back set of the coughs. I can't get my throat <coughs> clear or dry or something. 
May need to call your doctor tomorrow and see if she wants to call you in something else. You reckon? She'll say, come in. <laughs> I don't want that. That is fine every once in a while with you. I've got something on my shirt hooking it gravy. Oh, wow. They do phone stuff with you. What's one up there? Not in the last little bit. Cause they sound Have you been kind of horse all day today? <clears throat> well, I really don't know because <clears throat> I ain't talked to nobody today. <clears throat> oh, I see. I ain't been on the phone. <clears throat> I walked this morning. <clears throat> Was for <clears throat> I don't reckon. Mm -hmm. You was pretty sleepy before I left to work. <laughs> Your voice was totally different. It was sleepy voice. It was sleepy. Bye, be careful. I was in mid sleep hour. Mm hmm. Oh, that's early though. I like to leave, I like to get up early, get my day started. I don't know if you call me a morning person or not. Would you call me a morning person, Mama? <clears throat> yeah, you're more morning person now. You used to hate morning. I kept it at 4.30 this morning. Maggie, she stopped and looked like, what do you want? <clears throat> Maggie is hitting the water bowl tonight and the food bowl back and forth. She done that the other night. Uh -huh. you know. <clears throat> yeah, Mama, I do believe you've got some congestion or something. Let's say not. But you're not coughing. I'm going to have to call your doctor tomorrow and tell him. You don't have to be so nosy. <laughs> It ain't none of your business, is it, Mama? No, it ain't none of your business. What are you folks <laughs> into? I turned in late. What are they eating? Uh, oh, I tuned in late. Tell me where you leftovers from all that stuff we cooked this week. We've got our pea salad that we made the, the night with the frozen peas. This is that box of kind of like stovetop, but it's off brand, a store brand. <clears throat> This is that gravy we made out of chicken gravy and brown gravy. That's a can of cranberries. That's the mashed potatoes we had with something. With the chicken and all. Oh, the chicken and the dressing. <clears throat> and then this is those vegetables with a nasty old uh, Chestnut. water chestnuts in it. And I've done got a whole <clears throat> one, but I picked just a piece of broccoli and a piece of carrot out. And I was able to get through it. <laughs> and that's it. We were just asking, do you all ever do that? Do y'all ever just clean out the refrigerator and whatever's in there, you just make a buffet and eat it? You should have made some good tater cakes with those well, mashed potatoes. Tater cakes. There's enough to make potato cakes too, yeah, but we don't, I don't know why, but we don't ever make potato cakes unless we got pinto beans or something like that to go with them. Do we ever just, you can make just plain up potato cakes, have you? I did when your daddy was alive. He liked them, but smack on leave them. <clears throat> there wouldn't have been nothing wrong with that. And that may have been an option if we hadn't had all this other stuff go with it. If it was just potatoes. Or I would have started up my potatoes, uh, salad. potato salad. <clears throat> and then I sent a recipe the other day. It was kind of like a reversed shepherd's pie. It was on Facebook, and they made it, and they just put mashed potatoes in the bottom, and then they put their meat or whatever they had left over top of it and made a gravy, and then put some kind of topping on it. I thought, that may be interesting. Then a friend of mine sent me a recipe that was kind of the same thing, only it was, you did mashed potatoes and ground chuck and gravy and something on top of it. It was kind of like a reverse shepherd's pie. Shepherd pie, the potatoes is on top. Uh-huh. <coughs> Both of these was on the bottom. Mama, <coughs> what have you done to her date? You wouldn't let her drink nothing? 
I ain't done nothing with her. Her bow's full of water, so she's not drunk all day. Cause that feels she's been in bed about all day, except a few times I've let her out. So she's eating her food. She drink. ain't eating nothing. But eating, slip. drinking, eating, drinking. She does that. She'll go. Her she has food twenty four seven. Her bowl is always at least half full of food. Her, <clears throat> her water bowl is always full. So she comes and eats as she wants. So she'll just decide sometimes she won't eat So I get home at night. She won't eat all day long. <clears throat> She's kind of like you was waiting on your daddy. She waits for you to get home to start eating. It's day. the truth, isn't it? Yeah. She ain't eating nothing today. And sometimes if we're gone for a while during the day, we come home and she meets us at the door. And then she runs straight to her food bowl and eats and eats and drinks like I'm like not eating. She's afraid I'll eat it. <laughs> now we know the problem. Mama's been eating and drinking out of her bowl today. Oh, mercy. I have never ate shepherd's pie, but it didn't sound good. Well, who said that? Deidre, we made it. We ate it. But it's not my favorite. I'll have to admit, it's a, you know. They'll have to write that down. That's one time you said it wasn't your favorite. <laughs> That's true, Deidre. Thank you. Uh, it's not my favorite shepherd's pie. It's not. It's a good flavor, but it's a way to upscale some leftovers, I guess. But we've made it a couple of times. But uh, my sister makes it a lot. Does she? Bernice makes shepherd's pie. Huh? I don't know that. It's not my absolute favorite, but I wouldn't turn it down for a hot meal one night. You know, sometimes I've got my mind set right on what I want. I don't want to cook it, fix it, it don't matter. <coughs> Other times, I just want something to eat and go on about my business. And then sometimes it's just like, I just, I just still need a bowl of cereal or eat an egg sandwich or eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm just not that, I, mean, I guess I'm not that picky about supper. But sometimes I've got that one thing in my head and I want that. And that's what I can't live. Don't you don't I, get it when you're lying right. back. You don't get satisfied eating it. I just think I just can't go on without it. I've got to have it. Sometimes, now that's another thing, like biscuits and gravy. I can go six, eight weeks without biscuits and gravy. And one morning... Or one night, it'll just hit me. I go want some biscuits and gravy. And it's just like a <laughs> consumed with the idea of biscuits and gravy. But I certainly don't have time every week or every day. I'm that way with salmon. I can go a long time. And then I think, I want some good salmon. You know, it's just like, y'all ever do that? Now the other night, what night was it? Last night. When we had those salads, that was the best salad to me. And it was just iceberg in that, that um, peppers, and, peppers and onions. And I thought, I Jeez. really enjoyed that with that ranch dressing. I made up the Y'all's Ranch in um, the brand. And um, it was delicious. And I had it for lunch today. I took the same thing today for lunch as what I had for last night. I took... Uh, <coughs> goulash and a salad and that's what my lunch was so I, I guess I'm a weird eater but now I've never craved a water chestnut mama there's another one of them things you want it yeah I'll eat it mama likes them there you go for a woman who won't eat hot sauce well, these are not hot no but I'm just saying there's better things out there than water chestnuts I eat other stuff. Mama eats other stuff, she said. Mm. Have y'all seen it? Mm. I ain't seen it. <clears throat> I gotta tell you, that leftover stuffing and that gravy and potatoes was tasting pretty good. That was real good. Really good. I had chicken thighs and baked potatoes with cheese and broccoli. Oh, Sandy, now I'm on that. Chicken, I like chicken thighs. Mama don't like chicken thighs either. Or legs. 
just a tenderloin breast, really, is what she likes. And wings. Wings. That's her favorite piece from her favorite restaurant. My uh, mom has always had wings. And she cut up her own chicken. And the way she cut it up, she had a pulley bone every time. And breast and the wings. What's that mean? Well, most the way they cut them up in the store and stuff, there's never no pulley bones. If they just leave it on the breast. Oh. Okay. And the way it's growing up, we fussed who's going to get the pulley bone and <clears throat> who was going to pull it with you. See who's going to. Well, that's what we used to do when I was a kid. I never did know what it meant. Mm -hmm. Who was going to marry first? Oh, marry first. Mm -hmm. I remember pulling that old bone, but I never did that much. Cause <laughs> you didn't want to get my <laughs> Well, I just didn't care enough for that old greasy bone. I never did. After the first time I done it or twice, I really never did see the point of pulling that old bone apart. Have you ever yeah. pulled the bully bone? They're hard sometimes. And you stick it under the table. You don't know what we're talking about. I bet half of the people out there is going, what are they talking about? There's a bone. It's in the breast. And the breast of the chicken is Y-shaped. And it comes down. <coughs> and you get that bone, and then you and whoever you're pulling with, you stick it under the table like this so you can't see it. And both people pulls it. And then whoever pulls out the... If you pull and put your finger... <clears throat> Up against the cheat. <laughs> 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 I'm just telling y'all how to cheat at pulley bones. You can get the little <coughs> short side. Well, which who wins? The one that gets the short side. Oh, who gets the short one wins? Yeah, shorter time doesn't get That's why we always will So the it. short one wins. But I've done it once or twice as a kid. I remember me and my cousins used to do it. After that, I was like, no, y'all go ahead. I'm good. I'd be over eating chicken in a row while they was fighting over that bone. We called it the wishbone. Mm -hmm. And whoever got the big piece got their wish. Now, Sherry, I like that better. You would think the big piece should win and get a wish. Yeah. I've heard it called wishbone, and that's what wishbone dressing is named after if you look at our bottle of wishbone dressing, it's got a wishbone around the label. And that's the pulley bone or the wishbone. Hey, Heather, how are you? Heather Harbor. Hey, Karen. Wishbone, we call it. Oh, okay, there's several wishbones on here. We did that. My brother and I pulled the pulley bone. Uh, good memories. There's, Kay's got a pulley bone. Wishbone, yeah, here's another wishbone. There's pulley bone. I think it was just maybe whatever the family called it. I had peanut butter and crackers. Linda? That's what I was thinking. Mama about. was debating before <laughs> I before she got all this food out. She said, let's just have a peanut butter fold over. And I said, peanut butter and jelly fold over. And I said, I'm having pea salad and crackers. I was then got my mind set on it. So we ate food. So I got the pizza salad and the crackers out. And then Mama said, well, we got all this other in here. Let's just eat it and get it done. I said, yes, ma'am. So that's what we've done, ain't it, Mama? Yeah. And that was good. Left I'm going to be ready to start all over with something else. What do y'all want to cook tomorrow night? Tomorrow night's usually our light night because it's Wednesday. Oh, and Thursday night or Friday. Yeah, meetings all day and all day. How about Thursday night or Friday night? What do y'all want to cook? We... We're trying to think of some new stuff. I, we ain't had pork chops in a minute. We ain't had meatloaf in a minute. Um, it was last year when we had pork chops or meatloaf. Oh, it's just because this is the last day of January. <laughs> Mama, the facts are the same. <laughs> Tomorrow is February 1. How many February babies are out there? If you're born in February, say... Me, February baby. May only was born. Happy February birthday to all you January babies. 
Happy birthday to all you February babies, and happy birthday to all you January babies. Hi, now, here's this little, uh, she's just smells her over here drinking more water. Caleb's birthday's in February. This is in a few days. When she's first, when I first started noticing her drinking water like that, I was afraid she was diabetic. Because, you know, doctors can be diabetic. And they said, no, she's not. They said, she drank a lot of I said, no, she'll go all day long and drink nothing. And then they said, well, that's just her habit. And she's a, she's a strange little dog with strange little habits. She's like, oh, yeah, she is just like me. They do strange things. <laughs> <laughs> if they would all just drink coffee, they wouldn't have to worry about it. I drink coffee every once in a while. Some, but I don't. You've been drinking it more here like the other morning. Yeah. I do that, but I don't drink it through the day or night. Oh, I can't believe people drink it all day long. I can't either like you do. <laughs> What's wrong with you people drinking coffee up until 7 27 at night? I seen something on Facebook about coffee something. Well, it is about it drinking it all day long. Oh. Morning, noon, and night, or something like that. Well, I think it's a vegetable. <coughs> I tell people I eat my vegetables all day long. I just drink them. If it grows on a bush, it has to be a vegetable, don't it? It could be fruits. Fruit, vegetable. They're both healthy for you. It's good stuff. I can't remember what it was, but anyway, what it mounted to was... <coughs> They drank coffee all day long. There's a bunch of them out there that do that. I said, that's you for certain. That's the reason there's coffee shops on every corner. And that's the reason certain brands have made it big. And they can charge five, six dollars for a cup of coffee because everybody Ooh, likes it. Five and six dollars for a little cup of coffee. Oh, mama. I ain't buying no coffee out. If we got you out of Jellico. <laughs> I wouldn't know how to act, would I? If I took you to some coffee places. Mama's not really into, you know, running by the coffee place. So if I took her by there and got a venti plenty. How what? How would you order, Mama? What well, if you went to the Starbucks and you ordered it? What coffee size? What size would you order? Small with French vanilla. A small coffee. Uh -huh. Do they have small coffee? <clears throat> they don't call them that. Well, what do they call them? They call them, I think, venti. Is that tiny? I don't know. I have to look every time I go. But it's, somebody tell me. Somebody tell me the size. What's small? What would mama? Tiny. <laughs> Larry, thank you for watching. I've never had a cup of coffee. Any, any, you gotta at least taste it. Maybe fry a cheeseburger on white bread for me tonight. Now, I love cheeseburgers on white bread. <clears throat> That's what we ate on this bar. Barb loves coffee. Good evening from Clarksville. We are getting ice right oh, now. Oh, no. Mary, you're not supposed to be getting ice. We're supposed that. to get some ice, I think. I think it was just a few minutes in the middle of the night when it got oh. to 33. But surely you ain't getting it now. We're up to 38 right now, it looks like. I can't really promise that. Well, just as we're saying, this is winter weather advice we're just coming across. <laughs> you jinxed it. <coughs> uh, my granddaddy always drank coffee all day. Uh, Gail... I think Mama's daddy drank it a lot. Chicken mm -hmm. spaghetti. I love chicken spaghetti. Venti is a large, Melinda says. So oh, Venti. I should have known it was a large if you know that name. You got a point, you, Mama. You all saw your order is large. <laughs> when I go through, I look. Whatever it says, I, I look at it. A Venti is a large. And there's two other sizes. Tau is the smallest one. Tammy, towel is small. Thank you, Tammy. So, Mama, you would need to order a towel. Well, I've never ordered that. <laughs> Coffee. I think what? a towel would be a big old thing. What would what, you say you wanted in it? French vanilla creamer. Okay, so you'd order a towel. 
vanilla. With two shots of French, French vanilla creamer in it. So you remember that. We'll go by and get you a towel. And the towel uh, probably don't cost for what, five, six dollars? I wouldn't pay that for a cup of coffee. Tall or short or whatever. How would y'all like to be working at the window when she come riding through? <laughs> and Cliff that day, probably. <laughs> and I want to smile and give me the same citizen discount. <laughs> yeah. She goes to the window, she'd have her buck fifty hanging out the window and they'd say, ma'am, <laughs> this ain't Hardy's. <laughs> You're in the wrong place. Starbucks Smile Coffee is eight bucks. Oh. There ain't no way. <laughs> Smile, Mama, is eight. I'd strangle on that drinking that high cost. I only drink Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Dunkin' Donuts is good coffee. I haven't been to the Bucks in a while. Uh, Grande, yeah, that's it. Grande is a medium at Starbucks. I know Grande is large. No, it's medium. Grande, what does that mean? Grand. Grand, that's large. So, Mama, you have a tall and a small. You have a Grande and it's a medium. And you have a Vinte and it's a large. Well, I'll never order. And the towel, <coughs> she just said, was eight bucks. And then you had the grande, which is probably... We'll make a pot and I'll take it with me. <laughs> I'd invite you to be a footman. I just would love. <laughs> I'd love to take you and let you go into the counter and order. Short, tall, grande, and venti. <coughs> Oh, Mama, there's another option. You could get a short. How much is a short? Probably six. Do they have a same distance? Tile is 10 ounces, Mama. Grande is 16 ounces. And a Vente is 24 ounces. And a Trente is 31 ounces. We, do they have a loan officer on hand for the 31? <laughs> oh, Mama. <laughs> I would love to watch you go in and order a coffee. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> they say you want a towel. You say, no, I said a smile. <laughs> well, a towel is a smile. No, a towel's a large. And Grande's would, a large. You would educate them when you want. I teach them English. So, <laughs> if, they, well, if they said a venti is a large, what would you tell them? A venti. I need to go back. I've done forgot that last size. Because I've been ordering Venti's and I need to order a Trente, I think she said. A large Starbucks coffee is over $10. Ooh, Linda. Cup of coffee. I wouldn't pay that for a cup of coffee either, Mama. That's surely, too much. I would, but I'd have to go without something else. <laughs> I go, my coffee outings usually consist of... And I know y'all are going to be surprised because you probably think he loves coffee. But I don't go to, we don't have them. I do have a Mickey D. So my, my outing on coffee usually is McDonald's or Hardee's somewhere for breakfast. And most of the time I just go there for their coffee. You've ordered coffee with me at Hardee's and McDonald's and Hardee's both. They are distinctly different. Um, so I run through McDonald's for to-go coffee. But occasionally, if there's a Starbucks here, you'd probably go through it every once in a while and get it. Occasionally, when I'm in a city that has a Starbucks, you go. <coughs> Their coffee's good. I wouldn't pay that price for a cup of coffee. I, I could eat a whole meal for that. Not anymore. Have you eaten out lately, Mama? No, I haven't. She's drunk and drunk, and now she wants out. I'll let her out. Oh, yeah, that's why you're talking about your big cups of coffee. What size? Big cups. What's, what size is that? A vintage. Oh, oh, you got it right, Mama. <laughs> we have taken Mama to a whole new place tonight. I never had told her about... I've dreaming about that high-class coffee. I never had told her about coffee prices out there in sizes. So, she's learned something new tonight. 
it's probably not going to be a good thing. If I ever stop at one, she'll say, you're not going to get one of them $10 coffees, are you? And I probably won't. Uh, but every once in a while. Yeah, I do. Don't tell her. <laughs> just to, for something special. Mama's just fixed a cup of coffee at home and gets some vanilla creamer. Oh, yeah. She would never, never. She would never take that. That wouldn't be for her. We don't we don't splurge on stuff. You know, like I tell you all the time, we we try to find stuff on sale, you know, that kind of stuff. I mean, it's just a waste. I, I Google and the average cost of a towel coffee is three twenty five. Mama now three twenty five is not bad for a coffee. Oh, I think it's a towel, which is a small. That's a little tiny cup of coffee. I like McDonald's coffee too, Ter uh, Teresa. I am with you, Mama. I not just, paying that much for coffee, I Teresa. I get a glass of water and call it good. <laughs> we have been out to eat before, and Mama will say, "I'll just get a glass. Of, I'll just get water because I can drink a coke when I get home." And I ain't paying five dollars. <laughs> you ain't supposed to tell it. <laughs> I ain't paying five dollars for a coke. For a coke. And I'll say, Mama, I'm buying it anyway. What do you care? I don't want you paying five dollars for a coke. Have y'all ever seen the bee? Tall Mama, she, uh, she's. Uh, what is it? Stick to water because cold drinks. <laughs> or even very high anywhere you go. Carolyn, that's the truth. If you order a drink, you've added four or five dollars to your bill. I'll be making baked potatoes and chops tomorrow. Mmm, baked pork, baked pork chops, not baked potatoes. That sounds good. Now baked pork chops, Kathy, is something we don't do a lot of. Uh, we could. We could do It'd some be baked better pork chops. Prime in that fridge, my well, I've been using the micro-pro grill, which is We don't bad. use any oil. Don't use nothing. Um, if we put them in the micro-pro grill, we don't use any oil, so the health aspect of them is good. But I tell you, the reason we don't bake ours much is because most of the time, our store has the thinner ones. And when you're frying them, you want the thinner ones. Now, when you're baking them, you want them the thick ones or grilling them. <clears throat> And you want to slice them and stuff. But, oh, there's all kinds of stuff you can do to bake pork chop. But, oh, Maggie's come back. Uh, most of the time when you're doing a baked pork chop, it's the thick ones. You're not getting the treats right now. Mom's negotiating Maggie. She's in our bacon for How much is McDonald's coffee? Uh, Annabelle, I think... I pay a dollar sixty three or something when I go through. Now that ain't bad because you get a good cup of coffee. I just go through and say one large black coffee, please, and they're like, drive around. I believe it's like a dollar sixty three or something. I will not drink Starbucks coffee even if it was free. Lisa, you don't like it. Uh, Hardy's coffee is good, especially with a ham biscuit. No, <laughs> yeah, I like, no. I like um, her. <clears throat> Maria, Hardy's coffee has got a, it's a, I don't know, it's just different. I like it. Sometimes I think, I want some Hardy's coffee. Uh, I don't know what brand they use, I don't know anything about it, but I do like it every once in a while. But normally, I go to McDonald's, you know. Well, we don't uh, have a Hardy's no more. No, we don't have a Hardy's. Um. I normally go to McDonald's too for my coffee. Some places only have bottled water now too. Yeah, Carrie. And you have to pay high for that. <laughs> Mom will be packing her own water now. Our town has a new coffee shop. Everyone says there's coffee and teas and other. Cindy Cadell, we just got a new one too. I'm gonna try it. We just got a new coffee shop too. I don't like McDonald's coffee at all. I love Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I do like Dunkin' Donuts coffee, but we don't have one. We have a McDonald's here. So normally that's what I do. And y'all don't expect me to drive to another city 
and wait and not have coffee for the trip, do you? I gotta get it from the start. <laughs> you would have to drive uh, to Knoxville or to Clinton. Clinton. Yeah, but Oak Ridge has a double. I mean, a Dunkin's or a Starbucks. Or... Yeah. But I mean, I've gone there anyway a lot of times, so. But I'm not gonna wait to get there. I've already got my coffee. All right, folks, we've talked about coffee and everything. We don't have the rights to any of that coffee. I mean, I was just talking. I, I never know what we're allowed to say. But you all know I don't have any Starbucks rights, Hardee's rights, McDonald's rights. I don't even have rights in this kitchen. No, you sure don't. Trying to get me by high price coffee. <laughs> now it makes my coffee seem more reasonable, don't it, Mama? Yeah. I hate to waste a lot of money on coffee. <laughs> I didn't know I was being judged for my coffee consumption. Well, when you make a couple of pots for three sometimes. And sometimes on Saturdays, three gets made, but normally it's two. Yeah. And then some days, <clears throat> if I come in late, I don't make that second pot. I don't know what you drink leftover breakfast coffee a little bit sometimes because I don't want to start a fresh pot <clears throat> I do want to start one but I don't because I know I can <clears throat> drink it like too late I'm sleepy right now because it's 7 43 but I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning and I laid there till 4 30 and I got up I don't like it early morning no I mama don't up. do early I went early all my life when I retired, I said... Mama don't do late. She's up at 9 or 8.30. 8 something. I watch Fever. It comes on at 8. <laughs> that ain't late. Corey Mason at 9. I watch all the old shows. I like to get up early, though. I love getting up at 4.30 if I feel good. And drinking the coffee. Just kind of easing in the day. Getting my updates on, on the news or whatever. I don't want to watch the news. I just want an update. Folks, we're going to go. We're going to leave you <laughs> so long. Enjoy your tall, your venti, your grande, whatever you like to drink. Go out there and get it. And enjoy I know it. why they do that to trick people. If I was ordering a grande, <laughs> I would think I was getting a big old large cup of coffee. Or a giant cup of coffee. Most people look at the menu though, Mama. And most coffee drinkers know all those and if I went there often, I would know. But I knew. You I knew. order the Bente. You, I said it had to be one of the larger ones. Normally I do order a large, whatever. <laughs> you can say large and they'll, they won't turn you away. You can say small. I'm sure. The small and tall sounds a lot alike. Oh, it don't to me. <laughs> they ain't got mama's business. She'd say, I brought me a coffee, mug of coffee here, and I'll be drinking it. I ain't drinking that old high press thing. You know, some restaurants will tell you not to bring in. <laughs> Have you been turned away, Mama? No. I probably wouldn't go back if I'd been turned away. I don't know. Do they not let you bring in your own drinks? <clears throat> no, I have before took my own drinks. <clears throat> your own silverware? Your own napkins? No. Yes, Mama. I've I take seen. my own dressing. <laughs> <laughs> Mama may pull anything out of that purse when you get there. <laughs> We've been places before and I've seen her say, I brought my own silverware. I brought my, Here's my dressing dress. and boiled eggs for myself. And boiled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> and homemade <I'll> <laughs> We got a hush, Mama. We've said too much. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's untellable. There might come out a zero Coke, a, a little cup of dressing, some croutons, some boiled egg. <laughs> it don't matter. Mama was right there with it, didn't you, Mama? Yeah. I want what I want. You're funny, Mama. But you don't want a Starbucks coffee. No, thank you. I don't want even the first cup because I might really like it. Mommy, you wouldn't like it. <laughs> you wouldn't like it. It's too much coffee for a little woman like you, I believe. 
Is it too strong? It's pretty strong. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's, if you like coffee, it's good. Mm -hmm. I like it. Starbucks, if you're listening. If you're listening. <laughs> don't take anything Mama said and hold it against me. I love it. I She's, look like any strong coffee. We're going to go, folks. Thank you all for joining us tonight on our leftover buffet. And uh, I guess we can get rid of all this stuff after tonight. You know, it's we might save the potatoes. Can I get round of potato cakes? Since we might did. save it all. Who knows? So you want potato cake? We might. There's still quite a bit of potatoes. Before. You know, I said earlier we don't never make just potato cakes. So I take that back because, you know, there for a while I was into making them little bitty ones yeah. with onions and cheese and bacon. Now, I like the good old-fashioned ones that Mama makes with flour and milk and all that and salt and pepper. And a little onion sometimes. Mama, you don't use onion. I did, son. We did onion. My daddy used to say, don't hurt your mommy's feelings. But if you don't care, fix some of them potato cakes with onions. I like them. She don't like them. Onions just don't like me, too. They don't. Mama don't do good with onions, too. Dad would whisper every once in a while and tell me to cook something. He'd make you, want you to make <clears throat> potato soup sometimes because you put onions in it. Here's the whispers I would get. <clears throat> won't you go in there and make us some of them tater cakes with onions like you make? Don't tell your mommy it'll hurt her feelings, but I like to have some of them with onions. Okay, Daddy, I will. And then he would whisper and say, you going to make cornbread? I'd say, yeah. Won't you make me a greasy pound of cornbread? I like to have some greasy bread. I did make some greasy bread. She did make the greasy bread. But he claimed I made it better. We meant the same. And greasy bread is just cornbread with bacon grease in the mix. Just a spoonful of bacon grease, melt it, pour it in there, and make it the cornbread. It makes the cornbread greasy. Greasy bread. It's sort of like crackling bread. Have we made crackling cornbread for y'all? I don't have no cracklings in here. Yeah, I buy them. Oh, that's like buying baking grease. Oh, mama. I'll buy some crackling. We'll have some good crackling bread. If you've never had crackling cornbread, it's delicious. Uh, but the greasy bread that we call it was with corn was cornbread with baking grease put in it. We don't put baking grease in our regular bread. But he would whisper once in a while and say, make us some greasy bread. Uh, so, okay, I'll Your fingers in Hands would be like eating chicken. Yeah, when you eat the bread, it's kind of crazy. <coughs> and every once in a while, he'd say, I have to have some good potato soup with onions. Now, you put onions in it. Don't you? Say, yes, Daddy, I do. Well, let's, let's have, put a little cheese. You put cheese in it. <laughs> he knew everything I put in it. But it was his way of saying, I don't want that plain stuff your mommy fixes. I want that onion and cheese. But other than those three things, he was saying, so whatever mom put on the table. My, he just wanted, and it, it wasn't his fault, it was my fault because I had made stuff and he tried it. He would think, and now dad would eat hot sauce and he loves the spicy stuff. Mama wouldn't have it. So every once in a while he'd want the spicy. And he would, oh, he wanted his chili so hot that he was sweating. And he liked his chili hotter than I did. He told me one time I made it so hot his eyeballs were sweating. <laughs> he liked it hot, hot. <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, he, he liked that spicy stuff. I wish y'all could have met him. He would have loved coffee time. He would have loved sitting here talking. And he would have had stories. He could have entertained y'all hours with stories. And um, he would have got a big kick out of it. Yeah. Um, he was a fun guy. He was, he, that fall parties or better circumstance parties we'd have, he'd say, are you having that again? And he'd come up. Is so and so here yet? He had invited people from town, people where he was at dialysis with. He he'd have more invited. Yeah, act like he didn't want you to fool with. Him. Are you gonna fool with that old party again? And I think it was just really his wanting to. Don't he start inviting people? Because <laughs> he, he as soon as he would say, "Are you having that old party again?" Mom would say, "Yeah." You'd hear him on the phone. Well, I reckon she's gonna have that party again. Won't you just come on up? It'll be next Saturday. So. It's, he loved it. So, good times, wasn't it, Mama? Yeah, sure was. 
Folks, we're going to go. We're going to say, y'all have a blessed night. I hope you have eaten. It's too late. You can think. Just get you some bowl of syrup. <laughs> if you have it. Find you something good to eat. Have a blessed night. Lord will we'll be back tomorrow to see y'all. Thank y'all for stopping in and seeing us. Thank y'all for taking a little spell here at our table. We really do appreciate it. We really oh, yeah. do. And uh, <clears throat> I know we go on a bunch of foolishness all the time. But uh, we enjoy it. And we're just glad you are here to laugh and talk with us. So have a good night. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama. God bless you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.